Uh, Anglaise. Okay. Uh, you speak English? Yes, I do. How yes. Can I yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. How can I be? Sir? Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Um, are you a police officer? No, I am not. Okay. I'm a 911 dispatcher. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not calling 911. Oh, okay. Well, you ended up uh, at 911. I'm not try, quite sure why. Okay. But how, what's going on? Tell me. Maybe okay. I can well, you. I, I'm in Ontario. And I see videos of um, military vehicles in Montreal. Okay. Can you tell me why there are military vehicles in Montreal, please? Well, uh, I would like to know. Can you tell me why it is or what's going on? Okay, well, you should know. Okay. Well, you're, I mean, you're the Montreal police. Montreal is a big uh, city, sir. It yeah, you know, I understand that. There, there's, um, there's a military, there, there are military vehicles parked at a um, parking lot over by Michael's and um, I'm not sure if it's a Walmart parking lot and it was yesterday it was reported on YouTube okay. but wh why um, like uh, why would you like to know why there's military in Montreal well if it be because of the kind of lockdown that is going on and Montreal is a large center, and usually large centers are, would be affected first. Okay. Um, because I'm in Ontario, and if the military are going to be on our streets, and if because the um, Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms has not been uh, properly demonstrably justified in, in taking away the freedoms, it's very concerning. I don't think uh, the military is taking away the freedom of a anybody. They oh. might be here just to help because of the COVID situation. Yeah, I understand. But there has not been any demonstrably justified information from any top official that requires the limits of freedom. So the COVID situation does not exist. Okay. Okay, but I'm, I'm not quite sure yeah, I, I, I get that. It's just my whole purpose was to find out if you know why there are military vehicles in Montreal. I do not know. Military is Canadian. Uh, Canadian military, yes. No, I know, but it's, it's run by the government of Canada. Yes, for which you, you are statutorily um, um, dictated to basically safeguard the fundamental rights and freedoms of um, <clears throat> from the Canadian Constitutions and the Human Rights Code, it's your duty to uphold that and safeguard that. And Section 1 of the Constitution Act basically says that uh, the light, uh, rights and freedoms are uh, pro protected uh, as can be demonstrably justified. And there's never been any demonstrably justified reasons stated well, by I, the Prime I Minister or the Quebec Premier or the Ontario I, Premier. I ask you, did you contact the, the OPP? <clears throat> the OPP um, do not give any kind of information, period. They, it's like I'm talking to a nobody. Yeah, no, and the reason why I'm calling you, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, the reason why I'm calling you is because I've seen a video in Montreal in, uh, of military vehicles on the streets and uh, parked in a parking lot where there's a Michaels mm -hmm. in the mall. I understand. Well, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you why. Don't yeah. If there was and why. Mm -hmm. was it's very concerning, especially because there's nothing been demonstrably justified by why? the Prime Minister, the Premier of Quebec, the Premier of Ontario, or any health but official. If you, if you have any concerns, you should talk with authority in Ontario. I have, and you can't reach them. They can't talk properly. There's no discussion. They don't understand the Constitution Act nor the Police Services Act. I understand, but if anybody could do something, it's them. I understand that. So I my only, per I do understand that. I do understand that. And so the only reason why I'm calling you is because you're in Montreal, and I've seen videos of military vehicles in Montreal, and I was just wishing I could find out more information about that, and you cannot give it to me, and that's I'm, fine. I, I don't have the information. Okay. So as a Canadian, which you know, or as a peace lover and a freedom lover, I would hope that you would uphold freedoms. Well, I, I cannot have. Well, you should be able to because no, it's your because statutorily duty to uphold the safeguard of fundamental Montreal. freedoms and rights. Sir, I'm in Montreal right now, and you're in a different province. Yes. If you want to talk about it, if you need assistance, you have to talk with your local police department. Yes, I understand that. I do understand that. They're not competent. 
to have a conversation. I understand that. But what, what you can do is you can uphold the Constitution, Section 1 and Section 2, and make sure there's something demonstrably justified before rights and freedoms are taken away. Okay. So you actually have that duty. So can I ask you, what's your ID, please? Yeah, 6158. 6158? Yes, sir. And your first name is? Unfortunately, I do not give that. Your first name is? I do not give that. Okay, well, thank you very much for taking my call. Thank you, and have a good day. You too. Bye.